Alright, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how to find unit vectors and the magnitude of a vector. So, starting off with the magnitude of a vector, what are we talking about here when we, when we actually even say the magnitude of a vector? Well, the magnitude of a vector is just the vector's length, okay? Just the vector's length, which is a scalar quantity. Okay, it's just dealing with length. It's no longer dealing with direction. So remember how a vector is it, it represents uh, it represents magnitude and it represents direction. Well, now we're going to be kind of stripping this apart into magnitude, and then with unit vectors, we're just going to talk about solely direction. Okay, so here we're stripping a vector apart and only talking about the magnitude. So we're only talking about the length of a vector. Now uh, we have. Let's say that we have vector a okay and vector a is represented by the components a1 a2 and a3 okay well if we want to find the magnitude of that vector okay which can either be denoted with just one set of absolute value signs or maybe in some cases it's represented with two sets of absolute value signs uh, you know, it could be either or. That's going to be equal to the square root of, well, just your first component squared plus your second component squared plus your third component squared. Okay? It's basically the distance formula. And matter of fact, it is the distance formula. Okay? Remember how you get to get this A1, A2, and A3. Okay? You're subtracting the initial point from the terminal point. Okay, which is exactly what you have to do in the distance formula uh, equation. Okay, you have to do that. So this literally is the distance formula. So let's do an example here. Okay, let's say that we have vector b. Okay, say that we have vector b, and b is represented by two, two, and one. Okay, let's say that, that B is represented by 2, 2, 1. Well, if we want to find the magnitude of that, that's just going to be 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared. That is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 1, that's square root of 9, and that's equal to 3. So the magnitude of B is just 3. That's the length of this vector. So now we're going to talk about finding a unit vector. Now a unit vector is just going to be, it's just really a vector with length one, okay? And it's meant to represent direction solely, okay? So now we said we're breaking up a, a vector, a vector represents magnitude and direction. We broke it up into just the magnitude up here, and now we're breaking it up into just the direction down here, okay? And what are some what are some examples of this? Well, I hat, j hat, and k hat are all unit vectors. Okay, they're vectors with length one, and they're only meant to represent direction, right? So when you're saying like you know like something like two i hat plus three j hat plus k hat or something like that, you're literally just multiplying by this unit vector to get a certain distance in each of those directions. Okay, that's that's their use. Now, how do you find the unit vector, okay? Well, you can kind of think about this logically, okay? You're just finding this vector, but now with length one. Well, here's something. You know that the length of this vector right now, okay, you know that the length of this vector, which is the magnitude, right? The length of the vector is three, okay? So if the length of the vector is three, the length of this vector is three, if you divide it by three, you end up with a vector that has the length one. Okay, so how you find the unit vector is to take the vector itself and divide it by the magnitude of the vector. Okay, in a sense, you're just making the magnitude one. So this is basically the same thing as two comma two comma one divided by three. Okay, scalar multiplication, scalar division, same kind of deal here. You're gonna divide every term every component by three. So you end up with two thirds, two thirds and one third. So that's really all there is to it. Okay, how to find the magnitude of a vector? Well, we're just using our distance formula, okay? But with a vector, 
really, I mean, the distance formula is, is already half done for you, okay? Instead of having like an x2 minus x1, well, that is your x component, okay? So that's what goes in your, in your square root, okay? For your unit vector, now we're talking about not magnitude, but direction, okay? We're talking about direction here. We're talking about things like i hat, j hat, k hat. And how we find that is just taking our, having our vector, in this case we had vector b, and we divided it by the magnitude of that vector, okay? Because if we divide it by the magnitude of the vector, we get a vector with length 1, which is a unit vector, okay? So that's kind of the, the whole idea, and that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.